talking with the gorgeous supermodel, David Gandhi. David, thank you very much for joining us. That's okay. How have you enjoyed the show? The show is great, actually. The, the, the take on the quilted stitching was ingenious. I, I loved it, actually. You know, James, James Long, I, I know, and you know, he's a great guy, and he's always quite uh, sort of very fashion forward. And uh, you know, so I read the, read the brief about sort of, you know, the sci-fi and, and everything else. How important is Linda Collections for men's fashion? It, it's hugely important. It, it is important for many reasons. For not, I mean, not just for fashion. It's important for the economy. You know, we bring so much money in, and uh, it gives the young designers a platform to really show what they can do. And I always say we don't really shout about what we do in this country enough, and, and we do this very well. And this is where all the trends and uh, so much heritage started um, from menswear, and it's finally sort of come home, and it's uh, hugely successful. So it's good. So who are you wearing? Me. <laughs> You're wearing you. I'm wearing me. I, I designed it. So uh, yeah. Wow. Jones, editor of GQ magazine. Dylan, thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure. So tell us, in terms of um, style in London, how important is it compared to the likes of Milan and Paris? I think you get more stylish people in London, uh, particularly more stylish men, because you've got more creative influences. I mean, we created every major youth culture since the Second World War. Um, we have a great heritage with Savile Row we have the best menswear designers in the world. So in terms of what men wear on the street, you'll see more inventive things here than anywhere else. Nowadays, men expect to buy really good clothes at very reasonable price points. And the great thing is that you can walk into a designer store, a bespoke tailor's, or you can go to the high street and you can get fantastic clothes. And I think that all you've got to do is spend 20 minutes walking through various high street clothes and you get a pretty good sense of what's going on. And where do you think people should get style inspiration from? GQ magazine. <laughs> I'm joined by model here at the men's collection, Louis Evans. Uh, I don't know if you can get us both in the same shot. He's quite tall. I need some yellow pages to get on. Uh, so, Louis, you're obviously told what to wear on the catwalk. Does your style differ in real life to what you have to wear when you're working? I like, especially the Christopher Rayburn show. I mean, I own one of Christopher Rayburn's coats myself, but I genuinely try to go for all black. Draw attention more to up here rather than anywhere else. I don't think you need any help help with that. Um, and how long have you been into fashion for? Has it just been because of the work you do or were you always into it? My mum was a model, so it's kind of been a part of my life from growing up and she, did, she was very successful herself, so she kind of got me into it. And though growing up I wasn't really that interested, you know, it's kind of that rebellious thing, but I figured it would be good fun, and it is, so now I absolutely love it, so. And just quickly about your backpack, it's the only bit of colour that you've got there. Is that a big thing for you? Is that your statement piece? It's my statement piece, a little bit of flair. Thank you very much for joining us. So, who are you here to see today? I'm doing my stylist because I haven't seen him since you know since last year. Oh my yeah, God, we're going to go check out. We're going to bring here. him in. Come, come on, on get come on, come on, come on, come on, bring him in, bring him in, come on. Come on. <laughs> we've got Andrew. Right here. Hello. And, um, we're going to see Matthew Miller. Okay. First. Um, and then what are we going to go see next? We're going to go to the Man Show to see the three young designers. Yeah. So, how important is fashion to you? Because you're on the television a lot. Yeah, well, you got to look good, right? <laughs> you know? And I think with magic, you know, it's about having a certain kind of mystique to the look as well. Yeah. So I'm always, you know, looking for, like, cool jackets with cool pockets so I can have all my cards and all the magic <laughs> stuff. You know, but nothing on my sleeves, though. How important is London menswear, do you think? Every time I leave a house, you know, it's very important what I'm wearing. So I think, you know, for every man living, not just in London, in fact, all over the world, it's important that we look good, you know? And it's just really good that we take such kind of a hiatus of how everyone looks in London nowadays. Not just the women fashion shows, it's the men's is of high importance. So, figure, so it's really, really good, yeah. yeah. So who are you wearing quickly? I've got Alexander McQueen and Christine Dior and Lambam. 
I know. Do you always wear sort of top end designers or do you mix it with high straight? I mix it up a little bit, yeah. Keeping yeah. it cool. Yeah, just, just kind of what I fall on, you know, when I get out of bed. So do you have any sort of relaxed sort of outfits that you wear at home? Anything that isn't designer? Yeah, I, uh, well, because it's winter, I'm not going to lie, I've been sitting at home in my long johns and my onesie. You know, I've got to keep warm, haven't you? <laughs> you got to, you got to keep warm. Well, Dino, I won't keep you. Thank you very much for joining well, us. Thank you. Thank you.